I'm hooking 200 subscribers up with the Season 3 Battle Pass. So drop a like if you want one. I give 5 subscribers every single day here on Home of Games. So if you want to receive a gift, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, you will be my 3,500,000th subscriber. Welcome back everybody to the official channel of Home of Games. At the time I'm recording this video, there is exactly 18 days, 23 hours, and 10 seconds until the release of Season 3. And with the brand new 12.60 update, as well as the 12.60, 12.61 update already being loaded onto Fortnite staging servers, there is a lot of leaks and new information we have to cover about the new season in Fortnite. In my three years on YouTube making Fortnite content, I have never ever seen this much information come out about a new season this soon before. We're going to be covering everything from some leaked images of the season 3 map, the leaked season 3 trailer, as well as two brand new vehicles coming into the new season. And since we recently surpassed 150,000 people using code HOMA Games inside of the Fortnite item shop, I'm giving away 200 battle passes to start off the new season. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you can stay up to date with the 200 battle pass giveaway. But I decided for 200,000 supporters inside of the item shop, if we are able to hit it, I'm gonna never use the Black Knight again. For those of you who have been around the channel for a long time, you've probably never Ever seen a video of me using any other skin. So if you want to see me switch my main skin to, I don't know, maybe Peely, head on over to the item shop and punch in code HOMA GAMES. Like I said, if we can hit 200k supporters, I'll be making Peely my new main skin. But if you really want to go the extra mile in supporting HOMA GAMES, the awesome HOMA GAMES v Buck Shield hoodie has officially launched. If you want to check it out, just scroll down a little bit, it's right below the description. But as I said, we currently have only 18 days until June 4th, which is the release of Season 3. In this very short amount of time, there is a lot of stuff that is supposed to be going down. For example, the Season 2 storyline is supposed to be wrapping up between a battle between the Shadow as well as the Ghost that has been going on for the entire season. This final battle will occur on Saturday, May 30th, most likely, and will be showcased as a live event, or as you probably know it, the Doomsday event. And that live event is gonna go something like this. So currently Midas is on the ghost team. And the ghost team is having a very, very difficult time in this battle versus the shadow. The shadow currently owns the majority of the Fortnite map and locations. But as it turns out, you can just never count Midas out of a fight. He has a secret master plan in order to help the ghost team retake control of the Fortnite map. But let me warn you, ladies and gentlemen, the event is called the doomsday event for a very good reason because Midas's final plan is gonna cause a lot of destruction and Midas's plan is very very important for not only the season 3 storyline but just understanding any of the map changes or anything that happens in season 3 at all you kind of have to understand Midas's plan behind it if you actually go inside of Midas's little upgrade room where you can see the doomsday device in the second stage in the background you will notice a little picture of a woman sitting next to a little record player. This woman is actually known as the Engineer and is a very smart lady who had recently passed away. Her and Midas were very close. But before the Engineer fully passed away, she was able to pass the knowledge onto Midas on what the Doomsday device was, how it works, and how we can build one and successfully activate it. And it looks like, so far, it's working very well for Midas. We saw Stage 1 happen about two weeks ago with the the very first Battle Pass wire appearing in the Battle Pass HQ at the very top of the screen. And then on Thursday of just this last week, we saw stage two of the activation process begin with a second cable being visible right behind the challenge table. Now, since we have one of the largest Fortnite updates of the season already confirmed for next week, that being update 12.60, it is likely that the next stage of the Doomsday activation process will happen on Tuesday or Wednesday of 
next week. This will bring some cables into the lobby section, as well as add some very crazy and dangerous looking sparks flying around the Battle Pass HQ. Then for the very final stage of the Doomsday activation process, we will actually have to help Midas himself search for and collect gold bars in order to help activate the Doomsday device. This will all be done through the brand new Storm the Agency challenge set. Now there is a reward for this challenge set, but we currently don't know what it is. Personally, I'm hoping that it's either a free season 3 battle pass or maybe the engineer skin. So now that you understand everything that is left inside of season 2, like the storyline and how that's working, as well as the live event, it really helps you understand what we're going to talk about for Fortnite season 3. So it is confirmed that the theme of season 3 is going to be an underwater theme. And it's also confirmed that this doomsday live event is going to bring lots of flooding and lots of destruction to the Fortnite map. But it's just not that simple, ladies and gentlemen. That would mean that Midas's plan was just to destroy everything? That's kind of a lose-lose situation. He doesn't really gain anything from that or win the war that he was trying to win in the first place. But ladies and gentlemen, as a matter of fact, our man Midas is actually smarter than he looks. And that's saying a lot because in my opinion, he already looks pretty intelligent. Now our buddy Midas actually went and linked up with the No Sweat Insurance Company that is based out of Lazy Lakes. He went to them and got a massive insurance policy for all of the different properties that he owns around the Fortnite map. This means that if anything were to happen to any of Midas's houses or pieces of land or property or whatever it may be, it would be fully covered under the insurance and they would build him a new one for totally free. That means that Midas will be able to successfully launch the Doomsday device to cause a massive storm to come and destroy the Fortnite map and flood it for days on end, but still at the end of the day, have all of his stuff be replaced. This would obviously make them win the war, and while it is a very drastic measure and it's gonna take a long time for everything to be rebuilt, the ghost will end up walking away with the W if this all goes as planned. This is all further confirmed by those three different teasers that we've started to see pop up at Lazy Lakes. One of the teasers shows Meowsel standing in some water with some floaties around his arms, another one shows Peely swimming across some water about to get eaten by a shark, and then the third one shows a house floating on top of some water, and I believe that is kind of teasing at a brand new city built on top of the water. But floating around the Fortnite community, the last couple of days, there has been a fourth teaser discovered inside of Fortnite that looks very, very interesting. Now take this with a grain of salt, as it isn't confirmed to be 100% real just yet, but as you can see, it features the Doomsday device floating on top of a little island, and it also appears to be activating, sending a purple glow out of it. This purple glow matches absolutely perfectly with not only the purple glow coming from the Doomsday device itself inside of Midas's room, but also all five of the bunkers or hatches surrounding the agency. Now since the Season 3 map is going to be extremely, extremely flooded with many POIs being underwater, that brings to light a brand new issue that we haven't seen in Fortnite before, and that is how are we going to navigate the map if everything is fully underwater? Well, it looks like Epic Games may have already figured out the answer to that question because one, we know that sharks are going to be a rideable vehicle inside of the new season, but not only that, you'll be able to ride them and they'll be able to take you to the next location you need to go to, but they're also going to be hungry sharks willing to take a bite out of you if you're just trying to swim to the next location. And as a matter of fact, the sharks are going to be so incredibly hungry and dangerous that Epic Games is going to be bringing a new weapon into the game that is only purpose is to scare away the sharks. This weapon is called the flare gun and when you shoot it up in the sky, well, it's not really a real gun. It literally just shoots a flare up in the sky. Now this flare gun could be used to scare away any sharks that are looking to take a bite out of you or maybe it could also be used to call in some form of supply drop no matter where you are on the map. For example, let's say it was at the end game and things were getting kind of intense and you needed a launch pad or you were just running out of ammo. You would be able to shoot the flare gun up in the sky and then a supply drop would start to fall right where you are. But just in case you don't feel like risking your life and trying to tame a shark to take you clear across the Fortnite map, there is going to be an easier and more safer way to do so. And that way could actually be by taking a brand new 
new vehicle being a submarine. Now, as we know, Fortnite loves to tease things that are coming to the game in the future in the current game right now, and sometimes we don't even notice them. For example, during season 10, inside of Save the World, there was actually an early image of the Chapter 2 map, and nobody even realized it at the time until just a couple days ago. So that means that Epic Games literally teases stuff coming to the game months before it ever comes to the game. And that's why I think we could be getting a submarine inside of Fortnite. If you played Fortnite back in Season 8, then you'll remember the famous submarine that I'm talking about. But on top of one of the little ice mountains, there was a super cool looking submarine just parked there for two full seasons. Now at the time, everybody in the Fortnite community was convinced that the ice and the snow was all gonna melt and then we would get submarines as a rideable vehicle inside of the game. But obviously, that never ended up happening. But now, here we are, just 18 days from the release of the new season that is supposed to be underwater themed, I think, making it a perfect time to finally add that submarine vehicle that we've all wanted for so long. But it looks like there's one character inside of Season 2 who just isn't gonna have good luck with the sharks at all. Literally, from day one of the season, they're gonna be attacked by a shark, and we're gonna get a brand new version of them post-shark attack. Now we do have one season 3 teaser of Meowsel standing in some water looking pretty unexpected and it kind of looks like he could easily be eaten at a shark at this time but this lines up perfectly with the season 3 leak of there being a robot version of Meowsel's. This skin would be very similar to the P1000 skin we have inside of the game which is basically Peely. When he was turned into a smoothie they created a whole robotic body for him. Well the same thing is going to be happening with Meowsel's. And the cool part is the robot body is actually going to be built by the engineer, the same person who designed the Doomsday device, and is helping Midas in his battle against the Shadow to win the Fortnite map. I think it would be absolutely awesome and actually pretty likely that in the scene of the Season 3 trailer, we see Meowsels getting attacked by a shark and the engineer working on a brand new robotic body form. But if there's anything at all you guys feel like I missed in this video, I urge you to go check out the official second channel of Homa Games, Homa Games 2, as I try and get a video up on that channel every single day that I don't get one up over here. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, you're seriously missing out. Also, don't forget the brand new Homa Games v buck Shield hoodies are live, and they're only going to be live for a limited time only before I get rid of them and replace them with an entirely new design. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and hope you are as excited for season three as I am. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.